two types of setting lotions. First, I will talk about Talia Wahid's Crinkles and Curls, which I absolutely love. So I'm giving you a spoiler alert. I do love this product. Um, and then I will also talk about the Sister Locks setting lotion, which I've never used before. So I will give you again what my opinion is of this product as well. So a little background on my Sister Locks, uh, I guess, product experience. I've pretty much tried, I wouldn't say all of their products, but most of their products. I have used their starter shampoo as well as their salon shampoo. I'm a big, huge advocate of their moisture treatment as well as their reconstructor, which are basically conditioners for the reconstructors for colored hair. And the moisture treatment is for anyone whose locks are settled and, you know, want some, a, a nice conditioner, a nice leave-in conditioner. They actually both work as leave-in conditioners. Um, or, you know, you can also use them as deep conditioners as well. So those are the products that I've used. I've also used their, uh, green tea shampoo, uh, maybe once or twice. It's very tingly. I, I like it, but I do prefer the salon shampoo. That's my preference. But, um, those are the products that I've used and I've never had any issue with the products. They're great products. They leave your hair feeling nice and clean. Um, they provide a nice lather. So no issues with their products. Um, no negatives at, at this point. So I was very excited when they developed a setting lotion. Now, just really quickly, uh, Talia Wahid's Crinkles and Curls. Now, again, before Sister Locks developed a setting lotion, this was the setting lotion of my choice. And it's a great setting lotion. Um, its claim to fame is holds curls, crinkles, sets, and crimps twice as long. Adds moisture sheen with no buildup and cuts down on drying time. And I must say that... Talia Wahi has definitely, um, th this is a great product. She's definitely developed a great product. Um, it does live up to all of those statements. Um, my curls last, you know, a long time with using this product. In fact, I have to basically wash my curls out and I wash my hair about once a week, sometimes once every other. So typically if I have a nice set, I will leave those curls in. Um, so I won't wash my hair, you know, like I said, that one week I'll wash it every two weeks and those curls will still be in there. I'll have to wash them out. So, um, and thus far I have not noticed any buildup in my locks. They don't, the setting lotion does not leave my locks dry. So it's a really great product. I highly recommend it. Now the sister locks setting lotion um, I'm going to actually open it so and try to show you what it looks like. It almost is like a gel, um, which I was a little surprised at because I wasn't, I was not used to that. So that was kind of shocking. Um, but it is a gel kind of like substance. Let me just take a little bit on my finger. See if you can see it. It's like a it's like a gel, basically. Um, smells very much like a uh, conditioner or whatever. I'm just going to put it on my hair. <laughs> um, and what I found with the Sister Locks uh, setting lotion, admittedly, I don't like it as much. And I don't like it as much because I found that it was very drying. Um, I actually was going out with my husband. And so typically I don't sit under a dryer. I let my uh, curls, my curls, if I'm doing a wet set, I'll let it air dry. But this time around, I was in a rush. And so I decided to go ahead and um, sit under the dryer for about an hour. Um, first of all, it usually takes only an hour for my hair to dry. With this setting lotion, my hair was not dry at all. Um, so I had to come up out of the dryer because we were late for a movie, but um, needless to say, my hair was not dry. Um, what I noticed in some of my locks and even uh, around my edge line was almost like the, the almost like a crust like you would get if you had um, gel, if you had put gel in your hair and you let it dry. And sometimes along your edge line, there's a little bit of crustiness. 
I noticed that with this setting lotion and I'm thinking it's because it is a gel. So I was not happy with that. Um, and the after effects, um, now I set my hair maybe about almost a week ago now. And the curls, like I said, first of all, my, my hair wasn't dry, so I had to reset it. But the curls did not last for any length of time. Um, so, you know, right there, Talia Wahi beats it out in terms of the lasting effect of your hair, of your curls and your crinkles, etc. And then also, you know, with this drying, my, my locks have been very dry this week. And, you know, maybe it is because the weather is changing. So, you know, maybe a little bit of benefit of the doubt there. But for the most part, I'm thinking it has a lot to do with the setting lotion. My hair is very, very dry and normally it's not. So the Sister Locks setting lotion, maybe it will work for you, but um, it did not work for me. I'm more than willing to give it another try. Maybe I use too much setting lotion. Maybe you're only supposed to use a little bit. Um, I did not use a lot, but maybe I used too much because it is a gel. So it goes on very differently than the Talia Wahid. Let me just show you what this goes on as. See, this is a foam. So automatically right there, I can hold my hand up to you and you know, you can see the foam. It's not going anywhere with the sister lock setting lotion, it's a gel. So literally I couldn't really show you because it would pretty much fall out of my hand. So right there is probably a major difference in how it goes on. So maybe you don't use as much, but in any case to summarize, um, crinkles and curls versus the sister lock setting lotion. I personally prefer the Talia Wahid's crinkles and curls to the sister lock setting lotion. And I am a strong advocate for sister locks products. I do like their product line, but I think their setting lotion needs a little bit more work. Um, and again, maybe it will work for you. So I will not, not recommend it. I'm just giving you my honest opinion about it. Um, and you know, try both of them for yourself and let me know which one works best for you. Okay. So thank you very much for listening to this product review. Have a wonderful day and let me know if this video was helpful and what you would like to see in the future. Thanks. Bye.